Hi guys, this is a Visual Studio 2010 tutorial by Ben's Tech Tips. This is to help you with the coding involved in Visual Studio 2010 and Visual Basic 2010. It will also work for Visual Studio and Visual Basic 2008 and probably 2012 when there's a newer version. Ok, so this is for beginners and this is tutorial 1 where we will write a simple script to um, show a message box in a Windows form. OK, so we cl need to click New Project in Visual Basic. Select Windows Form or applica the application maybe. I'll try saying it right. And .NET Framework, preferably the highest, although you might want to choose the lowest if you've got certain machines that may not have the latest version installed. But you'll learn about that in later, t later tutorials. OK, so we're going to call this one Hello World. And. Okay, so tutorial one, Hello World. That is what the tutorial is called. Let's give the machine a sec to do that. There we go. Okay, so as you can see from the left hand side, we have a form which is basically like a Windows program which you can move around uh, that sort of stuff and basically on the right hand side we have properties to that form and we also have the solution explorer although we'll go into that in detail in another tutorial on the left we have toolbox when it loads and all, all windows forms we can get the different objects that we can drag onto the form and data sources, but we'll do that in a later tutorial because that's more that's a more advanced skill. Okay, so let's do the um, uh, the button. Right, so as you can see from the form, we can change its size by dragging it. We can also change what it says in the uh, sort of message uh, menu bar thing. Change that to hello world. Okay. So in this tutorial, we're going to use a button that will trigger the message box to appear. Okay. So we can go into the properties because that's now selected. So that says button one, and that's the properties of it. So text. We want that to say. Uh, click me. And what I'd always recommend is that you label your buttons in this form because when it comes to referring it with the code it becomes much more easier and you can that's good English of mine, much more easier. Anyway, yeah you can sort of bring up different objects from the code. Okay so as you can see, this button does not do anything. I guess we go back. And we need to add a little bit of code to make it show the message box. Okay, so this is what pops up when you double click on that button. It says private class form one, that's saying that we're in form one. Private sub BTN click me, that's the name of the bo box, and when it's clicked, which I don't really want to do that, because I don't want to move things. So it handles btn click me dot click so once that's clicked it will do what's ever in this sub okay so a little bit of code we need to put a message box that stands for message box open brackets speech marks hello youtube we'll put okay and we need to then close the speech marks okay if we put a comma now this is a slightly more advanced bit well I'll, I'll show you that in a second actually if we close the um, the brackets we have a simple message box so once we click this that says hello YouTube we can change the way that that message box appears what sounds it makes when it appears by pressing by putting a 
comma there and we can say a uh, critical message and we can also change the title so we can put in speech mark in speech marks I say not to pound signs um, the message box the uh, title so next time we run the uh, form it says there yo and hello YouTube and critical because it shows that red X okay so that's my uh, tutorial on how to make a message box appear from a button and okay yes yeah, so please watch the, watch the later videos uh, like subscribe comment everything okay so thanks for watching